Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa addressed students through a Skype video call with the Aware Society program on Bahrain Television in light of the current coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. أبنائي وبناتي الطلبة والطالبات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أود بداية أن أبارك الجهود الطيبة للقائمين على هذا البرنامج الهادف الذي يتميز بطرحه وتناوله للمواضيع التي تهمنا جميعا في مواجهة هذا الوباء العابر بإذن الله وبالنيابة عن الجميع يطيب لنا أن نجدد الشكر الخالص والامتنان العميق لولي عهدنا الأمين على متابعته الحثيثة وإدارته لفريق البحرين في التعامل مع متطلبات الظرف الراهن باستباقة للعديد من الإجراءات العلاجية والاحترازية ذات الكفاءة العالية والاستمرار في التعامل المسؤول مع مخاطر الوباء للقضاء عليه بعون من الله مع تقدير الكبير لفريق البحرين الطبي على جهوده التي تصل الليل بالنهار وبنتائج ترتقي لمستوى الحدث ولا يسعنا هنا إلا أن نسجل التقدير إلى حكومتنا الموقرة برئاسة صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس الوزراء والتي تبذل الغالي والنفيس لخدمة الوطن العزيز أبنائي وبناتي إنها لفرصة طيبة أن أتواصل معكم من موقعي كولي أمر وأب محب عبر هذا الاتصال المرئي الذي أتاحه لنا هذا البرنامج للإطمئنان على سير تعليمكم وتحصيلكم العلمي في ظل هذه الظروف الاستثنائية التي تمر على العالم أجمع وتتصدى لها بلادنا بكل عزيمة وصبر وثبات ولقد علمت أن شؤونكم الدراسية على خير ما يرام ولله الحمد ولقد كنتم أيها الأبناء في مقدمة أولوياتنا لحمايتكم والمحافظة على سلامتكم منذ اللحظات الأولى لاحتواء هذه الجائحة واتخاذ كل ما يلزم لاستكمال عامكم الدراسي بسلاسة وأمان ونجاح ولمواصلة القيام بواجبكم بجد واجتهاد وأني على يقين أنكم ستحققون النتائج المرجوة كما العهد بكم وأنها لفرصة طيبة نتوجه فيها بالتحية والتقدير للأساتذة الأفاضل من معلمين وإداريين على سعيهم المخلص لاستمرار العملية التعليمية عن بعد وعلى أفضل وجه ممكن وتذكروا أيها الأعزاء بأن أعضاء فريق البحرين كانوا في مثل مواقعكم الدراسية وسيأتي ذلك اليوم بتوفيق من الله ونتيجة لاجتهادكم لتواصلوا مسيرتهم في خدمة الوطن 
وعلو شأنه في مختلف الميادين وفي مثل هذه الظروف يتحتم علينا أن نلتزم بنهجنا الوطني القويم في حماية وتقديم المصلحة العليا للوطن وهو أمر ظاهر للعيان في سلوك أهل البحرين الكرام ببذلهم المخلص وانضباطهم الذاتي ووعيهم المسؤول وصولا إلى بر الأمان والشفاء التام وبعودة الحياة لسابق عهدها بعون الله تعالى ولا يبقى أمامنا من بعد الأخذ بكافة الأسباب إلا بالتوكل على الله عز وجل واللجوء إليه وبتقوية الإيمان واليقين بقدرته على رفع هذا البلاء عن المسلمين والعالمين وأن نلهج له بالدعاء المخلص بحفظ الجميع من كل شر وضر وبالتوفيق لكل ما فيه الخير والإطمئنان لبلادنا وأهلها ومن له حق علينا ولا يفوتني في ختام حديثنا هذا أن أتوجه للجميع بتهانينا الخالصة بقرب حول شهر رمضان المبارك الذي نتحرى في قدوم بشائر الخير والفرح وإن كانت ظروفه مختلفة هذا العام ونسأل الله أن يبلغنا وإياكم فضله وبركاته وأن يعوده علينا وعلى الأمة الإسلامية والجميع بأفضل حال إنه سميع مجيب الدعاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شكرا his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of gratitude from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his speech to students and citizens, which he said support the government's efforts to serve the kingdom during the exceptional circumstances of the coronavirus outbreak. His Royal Highness said that His Majesty's appreciation touched him and the ministers and encouraged them to further implement His Majesty's directives in providing citizens and residents with the highest levels of care and attention. His Royal Highness expressed confidence that Bahrain will overcome the challenges and will continue its development for the benefit of the country and the citizens and added that the government was fully committed to taking all necessary action to meet the present challenges under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of gratitude from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa following the royal speech which addressed students amid the national efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. His Royal Highness hailed the royal address which he described as visionary and will help the kingdom to overcome the challenges of the present moment and hailed national efforts which are being carried out in the spirit of unity. He affirmed that all members of Team Bahrain will continue their efforts to combat COVID-19 by taking all precautionary measures to protect people's health and safety. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely with the participation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, made the following statement. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble sentiments and kind wishes during His Royal Highness's uh, treatment period abroad. He also expressed thanks to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, for his concern and visit to check on the health of the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness extended his thanks and appreciation to the citizens and residents of Bahrain for their kind sentiments through social media. The Prime Minister then praised the speech of His Majesty the King in which he addressed the students of the Kingdom and during which he encouraged the 
educational and administrative caters to exert more efforts during the current circumstances to face the spread of the novel coronavirus. The cabinet followed up on the latest developments and national efforts to combat the spread of the virus, where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as evident by the precautionary measures taken in the kingdom. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to public authorities and private institutions for meeting the needs of the people in such exceptional circumstances. He also hailed the medical caters for their noble and outstanding efforts. His Royal Highness then called on to check the availability of consumer goods during the holy month of Ramadan. He also ordered the continuous monitoring of these goods to be adequate in terms of both quality and price. The Premier also called on to intensify inspection teams to monitor the markets and ensure price stability. His Royal Highness appointed the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to perform the aforementioned of tasks. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism then gave a presentation on the Ministry's preparations to provide goods as well as the ministry's efforts to maintain the prices of products in the market. The cabinet then expressed the kingdom's welcoming the decision of the Joint Forces Command of the Coalition to restore legitimacy in Yemen to the ceasefire. The cabinet praised uh, this humanitarian decision that takes into consideration the circumstances that Yemen and the world are going through which is the outbreak of the corona pandemic. The cabinet expressed its hope that the Houthi group would respond to this humanitarian initiative in a way that achieves security and peace and guarantees a comprehensive political solution. The cabinet then welcomed the decision of the exceptional OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting chaired by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its ability to bring stability to the oil market. The cabinet hailed the agreement of the G20 presided by Saudi Arabia and its role in supporting the oil market and enhancing international coordination to face the corona pandemic. In an effort to, to execute His Royal Highness the PM's directive, the Prime Minister's directives, the Cabinet tasked the Ministry of Education to urge all schools to accommodate the needs of parents and students of private schools in light of the outbreak of the coronavirus. Schools have therefore agreed to reduce tuition fees by 5 to 10 percent, deferred payments until the next academic year, and waived various fees. The cabinet agreed to pay employees of the private sector who have uh, social insurance for three months as of April 2020 through the unemployment fund. The cabinet discussed a draft decree to build the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for diplomatic studies. The cabinet agreed to amend the law that governs the commercial register on an urgent basis, which will allow the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to transfer the services permitted by the commercial registra register of one company to another. The amendment was referred to the Representatives Council for further review. The cabinet approved to assign the supervision of Al Uruba and the Travel Club from the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to the Ministry of Labor and Social Development. The cabinet encouraged transitioning government bureaus, including the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs, to use electronic and digital services. The cabinet approved updating the official list of sponsors of terrorism. The cabinet reviewed the efforts of civil society organizations under the supervision of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and in cooperation with the Bahrain Institute for Public Administration to train their caters to combat the financing of terrorism through non-profit organizations. The cabinet approved a recommendation to reorganize and develop the central market of Rafah. The cabinet approved a recommendation to admit graduates of technical and career programs into the University of Bahrain. The cabinet approved the government's response to a recommendation on a specialist uh, hospital in the southern government. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and hailed his royal directives, particularly during the current exceptional circumstances the Kingdom and the world are going through. In light of the corona pandemic, she noted that His Majesty's words motivate people and gives them courage to overcome this current situation. She also underscored His Majesty's continuous follow-up and care for the citizens and residents of Bahrain to ensure their health and safety. She underlined His 
Majesty's directive to launch the 4.3 billion Bahrain dinar stimulus package. She also praised His Majesty's paternal role in following up on students through his speech in which he addressed and encouraged all students as well as the educational and administrative caters. Zainal also praised the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister bin Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. She hailed the extensive efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. She concluded by extending thanks to the people of Bahrain for their professionalism, commitment and awareness in implementing the measures that would prevent the spread of the coronavirus, particularly the medical caters who are working around the clock to maintain the health and safety of the citizens and residents of Bahrain. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's speech was a powerful motivation to all students. He pointed out that His Majesty's speech under these exceptional circumstances represents a vision of a wise leader with great care for students that provides them with critical support. As Saleh praised the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for taking precautionary measures and issuing important instructions for all citizens and residents to protect the health and well-being of them. The Shura chairman valued the continuous efforts and follow-up led by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and his management of Team Bahrain, which made, or which made earning the kingdom praise and appreciation from various countries and organizations. He also praised the efforts of the teachers and administrators in the education ministry and medical staff in all hospitals and health centers. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, and the head of the National Task Force to Combat the COVID-19 Virus, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is carrying on with its efforts to develop its treatment protocols in line with the latest developments of the outbreak of the virus. He said that the plasma of those who have recovered from the illness has proven to be effective in combating the virus, as it has resulted in the improvement of the conditions of patients within 12 to 24 hours. He added that a team has been formed to conduct field studies on the infections, which he is headed by the commander of the Royal Medical Services, Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. Experimental procedures are being carried out for 20 active cases at the moment involving the transfer of plasma. The president of the STH added donations of plasma will soon be possible at the BDF hospital. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, presided or praised the televised speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in which he addressed students. The minister affirmed that the speech reflects the keenness and support of His Majesty the King to all students who are an integral part of the kingdom's development march in all fields. He also noted that His Majesty's words come to reassure all students that there are many authorities in the kingdom that work tirelessly to ensure the provision of the highest levels of education to all students in light of the current challenges posed by COVID-19. The minister stressed uh, that the speech also mirrors the trust of His Majesty in the people of this country to overcome all challenges and obstacles. He also wished His Majesty the King abundant health and success in the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, hailed His Majesty the King's speech in which he encouraged students to continue their efforts and contribute to the progress of the kingdom. The Minister hailed His Majesty's praise of the education community, especially teachers, under these exceptional circumstances and stressed that the royal speech had a good impact on official teachers, students and parents. He also said that the speech reflects the keen interest of His Majesty in the educational process and his appreciation of those in charge of it. 
The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, lauded His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's speech, in which he praised the efforts of the Bahrain medical team in dealing with the ongoing challenges and in taking proactive steps to confront the COVID 19 responsibly. She said that His Majesty's speech is a source of great honor for all medical workers in Bahrain, which she said have touched or has touched the hearts of all citizens. She said the speech motivates citizens to exert further efforts to achieve an advanced level of education in spite of the exceptional circumstances that are affecting the whole world. The minister said that Bahrain has always placed the health, safety and protection of citizens at the top of its priorities and that it is keen on achieving the highest standards of health care. The minister also commended the great efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his management of Team Bahrain, which she said achieved excellence and leadership of all national efforts as attested by the World Health Organization. The Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed Ramahi said that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's speech to students motivated them to carry on with their education despite the unprecedented challenges. His Majesty the King the evening delivered a speech to students amid national efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The royal address was aired through a video call during the Be Aware interactive program on Bahrain TV. He said that the speech affirmed at its core the trust of His Majesty the King in the new generation and in their ability to take over national roles through their diligence and steadiness. He also added that the close follow-up by His Majesty of all preventative measures and the social and economic matters related to them, which reflects his concern and care about every citizen and resident in Bahrain. The minister said that Bahrainis believe that all challenges are opportunities for progress, as is evident by their ability to turn difficulties into successes or success stories under the leadership of His Majesty the King, thanks to the mutual trust between His Majesty and his people. He concluded by saying that adhering to social distancing has reinforced the culture of distant communication and that the media has been crucial in keeping communication channels wide open. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments related to COVID-19. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Wadi Dalmana, noted that there are strict procedures to conduct tests and that there are mobile testing units. He also noted the awareness campaigns, adding that all those measures have led directly to identifying cases and dealing with them accordingly. He added that the number of tests have increased every day, which was parallel with an increased number of active cases, mainly due to gatherings, which is why it is essential to implement social distancing for the health and safety of the community. He also underlined the importance of implementing precautionary measures. Almana added that despite the large number of tests conducted in Bahrain, only 2% are positive. He added that life continues normally in Bahrain while implementing strict measures such as wearing the face mask. He called on the community to cooperate with all official bodies to overcome this pandemic. He stressed the importance of wearing face masks in public. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the national caters for their efforts in maintaining the health and safety of the citizens and residents of the kingdom. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital and member of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahbani, emphasized that the national efforts of the task force to combat the coronavirus are aimed at safeguarding the people of Bahrain. He underlined the readiness of the kingdom to face any emergencies, adding that the intensive care unit in the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital was built according to the highest safety standards. He added that among the most important safety measures in the current situation is social distancing, which all people should abide by. He also highlighted the importance of wearing face masks in public, adding that many studies have proven that it could lower the chances of the virus's spread. As for the current capacity for testing, he noted that there are more than 3,500 tests conducted daily, which reflects the kingdom's readiness. al Ghathani added that there are currently 751 active cases, 80% of which are stable. He added that uh, the uh, convalescence plasma is currently being tested. After being approved by the health authorities, convalescence plasma will be tested on 20 recovered cases, following the directives of uh, Lieutenant General Dr. 
the, the consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmani, a medical complex. Dr. Jamila Al Salman expressed appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for praising the medical caters of Bahrain in his speech in light of their efforts to safeguard the kingdom around the clock. She emphasized the importance of implementing precautionary measures. Al Salman added that health officials continue to follow up on the cases that have recovered to ensure their health. She also underlined the importance of social distancing as Salman concluded that reducing the outbreak of COVID-19 requires for social unity and responsibility and that every single individual plays a vital role in controlling the spread of the virus. Under the patronage of the Representative's uh, Council Speaker, Fauzi Azena, the Good Imprint Association has launched an initiative to sanitize the Rafah area. This uh, participation comes in implementation of community and voluntary partnership principles that was launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Governor of the Southern Government, uh, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, MP Ahmed Al Amr, East uh, Rafah Police Station Head, and 40 volunteers were present. In line with national efforts aimed at mitigating the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19 led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and following the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid today announced that the RFC has established a dedicated bank account managed by the Ministry of Finance and National Economy for donations from the kingdom's private sector and individuals. Businesses and individuals who wish to donate by bank transfer should use the following account details. Dr. Sayed highlighted that the initiative was established in coordination with the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, chaired by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and is complemented by the efforts of other national authorities such as the Supreme Council for Women, the Ministry of Justice, Islam Affairs and Endowments, the Council of Representatives and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Dr. Sayed noted that under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Kingdom continues to effectively mitigate the spread of COVID-19. International recognition of the Kingdom's early preparations included from the World Health Organization reflect the strength of this collaborative approach. On this note, Dr. Sayed commended the support shown by the private sector individuals from national COVID-19 mitigation efforts, adding that all segments of Bahraini society have a part to play in the containment and eventual eradication of the virus. Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Brainin said within the framework of enforcing the alternative punishment law and in line with the royal directives and taking into consideration the convict's personal and family consider or conditions as well as humanitarian reasons as justifying changing the jail sentences, the public prosecution received a request from the directorate to look into changing the jail sentences for a number of inmates at the Reform and Rehabilitation Center. The public prosecution has enforced the provisions of the law on 60 convicts who serve half of their period of their jail sentence after studying their conditions in light of the regulations of the alternative punishment law. A sentence was issued replacing the remaining imprisonment period with alternative punishment types that are consistent with the current circumstances. In line with this approach and due to the current circumstances undergone by Bahrain and the whole world, a royal decree was issued recently pardoning 901 convicts. Therefore, the total number of inmates at the Reform and Rehabilitation Center who benefited from the royal pardon alongside those who benefited from changing their jail sentence over the past two months has reached so far 1,793.